Christina Applegate, after the SAG Awards, for those who don't know, while we're talking about ESPN and the leftist outrage, she just went on a Twitter meltdown. We've seen a lot of these, um, but I think this one is important to note because it follows the SAG Awards, and I don't like Christina Applegate. She wrote, I guess someone told her she shouldn't be out there spewing her ignorant political point, and she wrote, I find it so offensive when people say those of us can't talk. You talk, you spew, so I'm exempt because I chose my work? What the... F-U-C-K. I don't want to give Jared some censor work right now. Weird to me when you say I can have a voice. I'm also a mother, a daughter, and a human. I was birthed the same way you were. Oh, okay. See that there? Yeah. Men can get pregnant too. Common misstep, but she uh, did it. You do not assume how someone was birthed. You don't know. And this is something I I guarantee you. There are some tweets upset about that. She went there. (laughs) Well, uh, and this comes on the heels of you. Someone sent you a Twitter message saying, shut up. That's about it, right? And she's acting like, I just can't believe. Well, listen, it pales in comparison to the support you have from the Hollywood elite who feel that it's their job to speak up, feel that it's almost their fiduciary duty to the shareholders they see as film goers, that they believe that you're paying them uh, in order to hear their political worldviews. Well, let's just do a, do a highlight reel of the SAG Awards from this weekend. Good evening, fellow SAG AFTRA members and everyone at home and everyone in airports that belong in my America. Cheers. Cheer, I love that sound back. of the hollow chest. Yes. <laughs> I was like, there's no <laughs> tissue there. It's just a carcass. And, and uh, let's just roll really quickly because then I want to get into the point of this. Uh, the cast of Stranger Things, of course, was the one that was viral. They were, well, they were forced trending on YouTube and HuffPo. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the director, I believe, or producer, writer of Stranger Things, also plays uh, Sergeant or, or Detective Hopper. This was yeah. his speech. We will hunt monsters. And when we are at a loss amidst the hypocrisy and the casual violence of certain individuals and institutions, we will, as per Chief Jim Hopper, punch some people in the face when they seek to destroy the meat and the disenfranchised and the marginalized. And we will do it all with soul, with heart, and with joy. With (laughs) this responsibility. Thank you. I love it. When dealing with casual violence. Yeah, how how are you going to fight that? We're going to punch! <laughs> With love and heart! F*** <laughs> them! And they don't, they don't see it. They don't, no. We're going to punch them in the face. We will take this. Well, no one's asking you to burden this. We don't want you to. Speaking of burden, I don't know what is on Winona Ryder's mind. Let's <laughs> <laughs> rewind here. This was her during that speech. From you who take your craft seriously <laughs> and earnestly <laughs> believe, like, like me, that great acting Ooh. can change oh. the world. Oh, it's yeah. called oh, to our fellow shoes she wants to lift men and women to go deeper. And through our <laughs> oh. art to battle the against words, they're fear, making self-centeredness, <laughs> and exclusivity of our predominantly narcissistic <laughs> culture. And through Hell our Hitler? craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding <laughs> society by revealing intimate truths that serve <laughs> as a forceful reminder. <laughs> Oh, oh it's so man. sad. It's yeah. it's sad what Percocet does to former shoplifters. If you listen to the whole Stranger Things speech, you listen to SAG. What, uh, sorry, Winona Ryder, Christina Applegate was saying, you know, I don't know why people tell me that I can't speak up. No one's telling you that you can't speak up. And you've listened to these speeches that are going, we will take this responsibility as though it's been bestowed upon them. No, it hasn't been bestowed upon them. You can speak up just like everyone in the country can speak up. People do. People do speak up on a regular basis. But you actually consider it your job to speak up when you are paid for something else. And people will have an opinion in response to that. And this is the only uh, occupation that I know of in the world where you are paid for one service and you expect to be paid for your political points of view. You are paid to act. You are paid to sing. People want, when they're buying that ticket, when they are uh, downloading that song, they are effectively hiring you every single time. And they are hiring you to create more content, to create more art. You're an artist. Why don't you embrace it? You're not a thinker. You're not particularly smart people. As you see with Winona Ryder. <laughs> That's a look you do not want to see her coming down a dark alley. But no. Now, listen, here's the thing. People elsewhere in the world, they have professions. And, um, yeah, at the workplace, people do have uh, opinions on politics. But it's it's not the same kind of expression. Nowhere else outside of the entertainment industry do people feel entitled to behave at their workplace the way you do. 